This video follows both the MQTT training video and the MQTT example video. Here we will discover what to do if your MQTT configuration is broken and how to use Do More Logger to troubleshoot your MQTT application in a Bricks PLC. But now let's say I messed up in my configuration. So let's go here and create one um, device configuration here. Let's say that I typed this guy in wrong. Maybe I put an extra Q in there. So if I did that, and I'm making these changes on the fly, which you know, normally I probably wouldn't do either. So I'm writing that down to the PLC, but now watch what happens right here. Oh, look, see, it failed. And it's telling me era 63 has occurred, and it's telling me that it happened with topic number one. So I can go over here and I can see um, what is era 63. Well, I'll show you in a second, but here's the first topic that failed. So it's the very first one. What does 63 mean? Well, if I pull up system error message uh, strings here. I've got the system error and the system message strings. You can see that the ERR says DNS address not found. And it tells me in MQTT, and there's a lot more here. I can actually go see that here. If I go to the warning, you can see it's telling me DNS server was unable to find address in MQTT pub. It also knows my sub one is failing as well down here. And you can see um, also it says 63, and the first one it saw was 2 in this case. But here you can see that it's also failing with the same error. So they're both failing here. And if I happen to click on um, go to, it would actually go to that instruction. So you can see as I click this, it will take you to the instruction that's failing. That's what it would look like. So let's go back and fix that. I'll take my fat finger out and say OK and write that down the PLC. And there we go. Now all is well. And again, if I change the values here, let's put in minus 1.7 or something. It's being reflected down here. So all is well and everything is working again. Okay, but let's say that now there's some other failure or I can't get it to work for some other reason, you know, other than a configuration error. There's a great tool that uh, Bricks PLCs have in them. Well, all Do More PLCs have in them. And it's called Do More Logger. It's a program that runs on the PC. And you can make the Do More PLC send messages to do to do more logger on the PC to help troubleshoot. Now, to get it to do this, it uses broadcasts, and to get it to do this, we have to turn that ability on, which is why I have this ST36 up here. This is a bit called Enable Message Dump, and that's what this is for. It's for troubleshooting. And also, it's associated with this value, DST61, which is the system message level. By default, this is set to 1. And it means that when this is turned on, then this one here means only send the system error messages to do more logger. Um, when I change this value to 2, then it means send the error message and the system message, send both of these to the logger. And uh, when I have it set to 0, then of course it won't, it won't send anything. Uh, so I would, first thing I would do is I would turn that on, and I would set this to 2, which is what I'm going to use now to start this off I'll go to the launch pad and I go here to the do more logger program double click start him up pull him over here and show you um, by default it's set to all but you can see that some things are happening already um, it's getting messages you can see that there's a ping a ping request and a ping response and that's because none of these values are changing and so to make sure that it keep, keeps the connection alive, keeps the MQTT connection alive, then the BRICS is, um, before the 30 seconds is up, uh, that was set for my keep alive time, he's sending pings to the broker to make sure he knows he's still there. That's what we're seeing right here. So um, we can also see if I, I'm going to let one more happen here and I'm going to clear it. 
we'll just clear that out. There we go. Clear that out and scoot him over here. And then uh, I'm going to go back to this. And I'm going to turn this guy off. Turn this guy off. All right. And then uh, I'm going to shrink this guy down a little bit. So that I can bring two more logger over here. Clear. All right. So I'm going to initialize the values again just for fun. And then I'm going to do the publish. Watch what happens. Here you can see these messages that are, that are being sent and being captured by Do More Logger. So here you can see that the first thing that happened was he looked up that DNS or the URL of my broker, which is on the internet. He looked that up and found it. That's what that is. So he, he queried the DNS on our network and he found it. Then he connected to the broker. The broker responded. Um, these are the connection and connection acknowledge. And then there was uh, the publishing of the two topics. And since I've been sitting here talking, he's had to ping him because of the keep alive time. So also, hopefully we can clear this guy out and do the subscribe. So you can see here he's sending a subscribe. The subscribe was acknowledged. He received published for R100 and then he sent a subscribe for 101. He got the, the recognition for that and also received that data. And so also if I change this data up here, then you can see when that happens that I got R101 again. And if I change this one, you can see I got it I got R100. So you can use do more logger in this fashion to help troubleshoot connections to your MQTT uh, broker. So I'll close him back down and always remember that once you use this method then you must also turn it back off because you don't want any unnecessary traffic and also set this back to the default. And that's how easy it is to use MQTT on the Bricks PLC and also how to troubleshoot uh, 